what is up guys welcome to another video hopefully you guys are doing okay and I hope you're doing okay I said it twice because I really care for you guys I care for you so much so hopefully you guys are doing alright so that's the third time I say it that's how you know I care for you guys now um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys um, a couple of things and not really showing you guys but more so teaching you guys what certain words mean in After Effects so let's not keep beating around the bush because bushes are no good because they cover up things and let's get right into the terminology so what is a keyframe what is a composition what are render settings and what do you mean by import and export these are all questions I get all the time on YouTube Facebook just kidding who uses Facebook Instagram uh, I don't Twitter mostly emails stuff like that so I get questions all the time about these four words and there's a there's a lot more words but I think that this is a series I can start um, to teach you guys what things are called and what they mean so let's start with the keyframe so what is a keyframe well guys a keyframe is basically a point in time after effects does a certain effect and then you just keep adding those effects and sequentially or like once they're once they're put and you render the video it does what it's supposed to do so let me dive in a little bit deeper on that so let's say for example you're trying to enlarge a video so you want to go from um 100 to 110 percent so the scale is basically what we're changing here right well a keyframe would basically mean a keyframe at a hundred percent which is the default size of the composition um, and so once you uh, increase the scale to 110 you put another keyframe so basically there's a keyframe at 100 percent and 110 percent so basically the keyframe is telling After Effects what effect you want at that certain point in time so another example maybe you want the you want music to fade in and fade out so you put a keyframe at the beginning at zero and then you imp, uh, you raise the uh, the sound to a hundred percent, so that way you go from zero percent audio to a hundred percent audio. So from zero you put a keyframe, and then to a hundred you put a keyframe. So the keyframe is basically telling After Effects what to do at that given moment. It's that easy, nothing else. And a lot of people get kind of confused when I start talking about keyframes and keyframe this, keyframe that. Well, keyframe is just a flag or a marker at a certain point in time that you want to do a specific effect and it'll do it at that given moment so after you get that out of your head and just think about it for a second it's really easy to comprehend and now let's move on to composition and I want to just throw in real quick if I don't go in depth in a certain word or a set or a certain concept please let me know in the comments and I'll further elaborate there so let's talk about the composition guys composition what is that what even is a composition? So, let's say, let's see, what's a good example? Cake. Everyone loves cake. You can't deny it. So, have you ever gone to a very fancy cake shop where they make the cake by hand and they put it in this cute little box and you take it home and you eat it? Well, the cute little box which the cake is in is a composition. The composition is basically the whole edit together so let's say again with the cake so the but there's three let's let's uh let's suppose that this cake has three layers right there's the bottom layer the middle layer and the top layer and it's like a wedding cake it all comes together right bottom middle top and then you put that inside of the box and then the person takes it so you edit your edits would be the the layers of the cake right and the box would be the physical thing that people would take so you don't upload you don't give people the cake itself without the box because the cake is going to be damaged in this case our edits won't be damaged but you can't upload all these separate pieces to YouTube because YouTube only wants the whole cake YouTube wants the cake inside of the box and in this case that would be a rendered composition so the composition in essence is the sing the just the single file video so the single file that is the video that you're trying to edit so all the edits are compiled together and turned into a video 
that is the composition. The composition, sometimes people refer to it as the edits in progress or the finished, um, the finished composition. So composition just basically means whatever it is you're working on. Now let's talk about render settings. Um, render settings, that is how you go about executing um, the, the render. So I have a special specific video for you guys if you don't know what rendering means. So make sure to click that annotation on that card or if you're, you know, behind, go to the description and check that out. Um, I'll leave a video there for you guys to look at. I go really in depth about what rendering means, but rendering is basically just getting everything all put together. So render settings is how you go about doing that. So again, to the cake example. So let's say this person wants their cake in a box, but they want the box to be wrapped and put, and they want a ribbon put on the top. So how do you want your cake to look like when you upload it to YouTube? How do you want your video to be? Do you want the video to be in a movie time format, MP4 format, MP3? Well, you don't want an MP3 format because that's not a video, but basically what format, what type of quality, how many frames per second do you want the video to run at? Um, what quality? All these things are your render settings. These are the things that you set after or you set before you render. So that way, when it all comes together, it comes together the way you want it to come out to. And finally, let's talk about importing and exporting. I'm running out of breath, so I'm going to take a quick sip of water that I don't have on my desk and let's get started. So import. When you import things, and you export things, um, it's basically import means to bring in and export means to push out. So when you import files to edit, you're basically grabbing them from your computer, your hard drive, your USB, whatever you got it, wherever you got it saved to, that's where you grab it and bring it into um, the software. And when you export, it's kind of like rendering where you're you're rendering the video and you export it back to your computer. So basically, you, your After Effects is a little factory and your edits are like a car. And so the car comes into pieces into the factory and leaves the factory as a whole car. So your edits come into After Effects in pieces and then it leaves After Effects in the whole. So that way you therefore import those parts and you export a whole. So you get what I'm saying? You import and then you export. And then the render settings, you choose how you want to do that. The composition is basically everything as a whole. And the keyframe, once again, is how you want something and how you want it done and executed at a certain point in time. Thank you for watching.